Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue with your middle mouse button not working properly on Windows 10. So if you're coming into this problem in this, today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start button. Just left on the start button one time. Type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager right above control panel. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to expand the mice and other pointing devices section to either double click on it or left on the lower arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Now for each mice listed underneath here, for each mouse listed under here, you want to right click on it and select update driver. Select search automatically for updated driver software. So go ahead and just do that for each one of them. Hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. Another thing you try to be to actually unplug and plug your mouse back into your computer. Sounds simple, but that honestly could be able to resolve a lot of your problems. So go ahead and try that. Another thing you can try would be to go ahead onto the manufacturer or OEM's website and download the mouse drivers that are applicable for your mouse. So say you have a Microsoft or a Dell mouse, go on the respective website or go on Google and just type in Microsoft and then whatever version mouse it is and then type in drivers and then just do a quick search for it. Should be a search result that should come back from the original manufacturer for the applicable driver software. So I consider downloading that and see if that's resolved the problem. Another thing you can try and do would be to go ahead and close out of here. Open up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back to registry editor right above app. So go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to select yes. Now before you do anything in the registry, I highly suggest you create a backup of it and that's very simple to do. Go ahead and left click on the file, tap up at the top left. Select export. Export range should be selected to all and then in the file name field I'd suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup which makes the most amount of sense to me. Once you've come up with a name, save it to a convenient location on your computer or perhaps external media source, whatever you think is going to be the most secure option to keep the backup and select save. And if you ever need to come back from the backup, very simple to do. Left click on file, tab again. Select import and just find the file. So pretty straightforward. Once you're done with that, now you are ready to begin. And we're going to start by expanding the H key current user folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. You can also note the file path on the top of the registry editor. So if you need to pause the video, rewatch it, or just pause it once we're done expanding the path, you're more than welcome to. So anyway, once you've done H key current user, you want to now do the control panel, so double click on that. And now there should be a desktop folder, so go ahead and left click on that one time. Now on the right side, you want to scroll down until you find something that says wheel scroll lines. Right here. So go ahead and double click on that. This is very important here, value data. You want to make sure it says three in here, just like it says on my screen. So if it says two or one, you want to delete it, backspace over it, click the delete key on your keyboard. I don't really care. Just get rid of it. So type the number three key on your keyboard and then select OK. Once you're done with that, you can close out of here, restart your computer, and that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.